This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Great promo offer on Testo, Field Piece, and Baccarat. Free two-day shipping on purchases of $200 or more on selected seasonal testing equipment. Link in description below. Guys, it is March 13th, 2019. This one here we're gonna call for um, oil burner running for a little bit and shutting off. And it says that when it, when it runs, it, uh, there's black smoke coming out of the chimney, so that's not good. I was over there a few months ago and I and I worked on this tankless heater, but I didn't work on the burner. I didn't have time to uh, do the service on the burner, but whatever. Uh, this guy is a new customer. I went over there uh, and redid his uh, tankless heater piping or something was leaking on that or something on a boiler. But I didn't do anything with the, um, you know, nozzle filter type of thing. He's calling me back and the thing's tripping out. And... But anyway, I'll try to get you some shots when I get there. Probably, it sounds like I'm going to have to take it all apart and vacuum it. Probably all choked up, trying to run and just coughing and spitting and sputtering. Nasty. This Molly is working again, y'all. This Molly is working again, y'all. I didn't leave no tag. No. I did put this. Uh, yeah, that's what I you I think did. I relocated that or yeah, something. Right. I put a new one in and, and added this shut off to it. That, yeah, right. So it's blowing black smoke. Yeah, that's because I probably hit the button too much. You know? I won't be able to tell if it's choked up. Well, how many times are you hitting the button? Uh, I hit it once and then it turned on. Then it went off. I waited a while. Then I hit it again. <laughs> After you hit it like three times, it then was up. Yeah, the guy that did the furnace and did it was this guy here. I don't know if he does work. I don't know. Too bad. It's a steel boiler. It didn't look too bad in there. I might have to pull it out. We'll have to see if we're getting any draft across right. it. You put a nozzle and a filter in and let's fire it up. See what happens. I did say this here. I know you you know how you make it sometimes. Pretty dirty in what now? Inside the uh, Oh, I'm sure it is. How long has it been since it's been cleaned? A year and, and but out the day when they clean, they supposed to clean in here, right? Oh, okay. Not so you got it off. You don't even have it off. You got it off upstairs? No. No, I just opened that just now. Oh, because you got this off here. All right, let me change yeah. the filter. Let All me right. do my yeah. thing here. Okay. Let's see what's going on with it. You got oil, right? Yeah, you got oh, yeah. oil. Yeah. Do you sell eggs? I know you say you got a lot of chickens. Yeah, so um, did he change this filter like a year ago? I think he said a year and a half ago. Year and a half. Well, yeah. we'll check it. We'll see what we get for oil flow. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of chickens. Yeah, so you just when he did it right there. Okay, yeah, so that's not so far. A couple of years. That's two years. Yeah. Let's see what we got for flow. Yeah. What a flipping joke, huh? You ain't kidding. We'll see what we get for oil flow here, see if the filters are dirty. Yeah, no problem. Whatever it needs, they're going to have to put it in, so I ain't worried about it. Who want to pay for that? I'm telling you. And then AARP, they don't want to pay for the holly nothing. They don't even want to pay my things to do the blood, because wow. they do the blood. Yeah, the AARP, they send me shit all the time for that. It's like... Yeah, they don't. I should have stood with the other one, but the other one went up a little. We'll see thing. what we get for oil flow here and see yeah. if we need to change the filters and stuff. Yeah. If we're getting a good oil flow, we know we're good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so we're getting a good oil flow. We ain't got a problem with that. So 
so your filters are still good. And put a little nozzle on it and fire it up, see what happens. Probably what it is. Like you said, it's been a little while, right? Yeah. Well, uh, all day yesterday, I had the wood still on and today. So you notice there was black smoke coming out the chimney? Yeah, but I think that... Not a lot. Yeah, it could have been for me hitting, I know what you say in your video, if you hit the button too many times. It would... How many times did you hit it? About three times. Yeah, and then what, then it fired after three times? Yeah. So three what's probably happening? You're filling the thing up with, with right. oil. that's what I figured, yeah. So I didn't put, that's why I didn't touch it no more after that, I said. You might have a bad transformer. So I said, oh, the hell with you that, watch the I videos? Ain't... Oh, yeah. You learn something from it? You ain't kidding. I don't like to mess with that stuff. That's why I call you. I don't like to go inside inside there. But something simple, if it's simple, yeah. It ain't nothing simple no more. Well, <laughs> could be simple. There's a guy in Dogman. I don't know if you go to his house. He's got, he's got all kinds of chickens and sheep. You know? Chickens and sheep? Yeah, he's got sheep. He goes right next to the dump. You know the document dump? Uh, who is it? Uh, uh, what the hell my wife said? What the hell does he want sheep for? Well, they raise it for the... I guess they have the, the fur cut, whatever. Oh, really? So he's got like a farm? Yeah. He's been in document quite a while. Things looking dirty. Yeah, see? I knew... I, I know I seen your things on the new on the thing there and I, I see you I said I bet you that's all dirty. The electrodes are like way out of whack there. See how they're out of yeah. whack? We're gonna yeah. put a new nozzle on it. Yeah, no problem. Because I see you doing that on your video, so I says, oh maybe it's it's probably in there. So Oh you think this front is says I can't I can't find the paperwork when the guy did it. Why someday you're gonna have to when this one don't work no more, you're gonna have to put a new one to be. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Something like um new ones, about two thousand, three thousand probably. Installed? No, no. That's just for the furnace, I know. More than that. Just for the furnace, yeah. yeah they're oh, I don't know. This is not, this is a boiler. Oh a boiler, yeah. A boiler has uh radiators. A furnace blows hot air. Hot air furnace blows hot yeah, air. Yeah, okay, so yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah. Yeah, this one is hot water, okay? This is a boiler. Right. There is a difference there. Yeah, I hope this will last a lot, a little while yet. You hope. I hope. Do you, do you, I don't know if you watch the news. The guy... You see, that, there was a guy that hit power uh, Mega Millions a couple of weeks back. Yeah. He bought the tickets. I don't know where, but it was a mess. He bought four quick picks. He leaves it at the store because he forgot it. He put his money away. He said, and then he went back to the store and get his tickets, and he won $270 million. You left the stickers there? Yeah, the guy, the guy hold on to them for him. He went back and get it, and he won two hundred and seventy million dollars. I said, "What? Well, that's what you call good luck." Yeah. I hope he gave that guy son for crying out loud, the one that hold the tickets for him to get it work at the store. Yeah, it was on the news. I said, "Holy shit!" Well, what's the chance of you hitting? I mean, slipping yeah. on, right? No kidding. I said, "Well." I've been playing my kids the birthdays for uh, 20, 30 years. I never get nothing except a free ticket for $10. That's it. You call you hip. <laughs> I mean, the electrodes are way back. Yeah, I never touched that. I don't even know. When they clean the front, is they supposed to do that or that don't count? Well, it depends. Yeah. See how far out they are. I'll just bend them in a little yeah. bit. Because I don't know if they touch that. I don't know if they just changed the filter. Well, maybe it's a bad transformer. Could be a bad transformer, too. Yeah. <clears throat> <sighs> Could 
could be a bad, uh, well, these things might be all cracked. Give these a good cleaning. We just bent them in to, yeah. so we can, yeah, so we can come closer. the heat down at the bottom? Is it cold? No, I'm alright. Oh, it's not I that, it's not it that bad. It, well, I put it up there so it wouldn't be in your way. No, oh, yeah. I didn't want it in your way. Yeah, I turned this on 8 o'clock. It was cold down here, I'll tell you. Well, hopefully the weather's supposed to get a little bit better. It's a little better there. Should have like a dime. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Once we get a weak transformer, it should fire right up now. We'll see if it fires up. How about what's the transformer? I mean, that's you, this. Yeah, when you, I see when you put the We're thing. Check it. Yeah, when you hit it with the screwdriver, I've seen that. Fire now we readjusted the electrodes. So I put a new nozzle in there. Yeah, no problem. Reset the electrodes in more. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. The CAD cell looks clean. You said if whatever it needs. And then once we run it, we'll see we'll see if yeah. it starts right. if if it, if it's choked up, we'll have to vacuum it. Right. right. I might get lucky. Will you sell your eggs at the store? You better go at the. I think I get some eggs someday. We'll go for a ride or something. Yeah, the weather gets better. It's yeah, better. you have to give me a call. Yeah. And I could. What I usually do is, uh, if I'm around, uh, if not, I'll leave them out inside a. Uh, I got like a plastic container outside my door, I, like a top, like a plastic tote right. that I can leave yep. them in. Let's try that out, see what happens. She fired right up nice that time. Yeah. Usually, like I said, if I put it on, it shut off. on shut off. How long does it run for before it shuts off? Uh, about maybe four or five minutes, five minutes. Now, when it, when it first starts up, does it start up smooth like that, or was it starting up rough? No, it started smooth, but it just kept on going off all the time, starting off. I don't know how many times you hit the reset. Oh, she's choked. She's choked. I'm gonna take it apart, vacuum it out. I gotta, I gotta take out the verticals and clean them. Yeah. Not easy being cheesy. They say, yeah, it's all, it's got soot in it, gotta clean it out.
So you mark this the front so we put it in the same way, right? Because this isn't always... You want to make sure you put it in the same way. So it's good to mark it. It's a steel boiler. I'll show you so it's good. I'm kind of afraid I'd have to take it apart. He's been hitting the reset button a bunch of times, so it's not always good. Chimney's clean. Chimney looks clear. Sometimes you gotta check that. Not easy being cheesy, mama. Nope. down. Probably take some of these dampers out. Usually I don't leave, I like to have them all in there, but not look that bad. Get my vacuum and stuff. And yeah, so we'll probably leave some of these dampers out. I mean, there's too many of them. These, these uh, inserts, yeah. you don't need them all. I mean, well, it slows the draft down. Oh, yeah. It slows the draft down, but the problem is sometimes if you leave them all in there, there'll be too much, there'll be too much back pressure. So oh. if you leave a couple of them out, you could adjust it to the, the draft damper too, yeah. right? Yeah. But this thing was blowing black soot, so. We'll vacuum that all out. Some of these we'll leave out. And then we'll set the draft over the fire. If it's too much, we could adjust it. Um, yeah. To, to the damper. To the draft damper, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? A little bit. <laughs> you'll you'll see what I mean. I don't know too much about that, but... <laughs> Obviously, it's blowing soot. I mean, the thing was okay last time I was here. I mean, I didn't, I didn't service it because I didn't have time. Remember? <coughs> yeah. What's the matter? You don't like the, you don't like the smell of soot? No, I, I had a cold for a little while. Uh... Especially walk around Boston. What a pain in that is. I'm done. Oh, where, where are you going now, Mass General? No, the ladies, a uh, place where they, where they do the x-rays. and uh, She had to go for a lot of x-rays because they had to put some kind of stuff in their stomach to make sure, to check the stomach to make sure the cancer didn't spray to the stomach. So they found a spot in their lung and two in the liver. Oh, so it's spread. Yeah. That, that.
two of the out and two out. Yeah. So I can adjust the draft. Because if you put them in, sometimes you don't get a good draft over the fire. Yeah. And if it don't breathe, then you're gonna have an issue. The boiler's gonna breathe. If it don't breathe, yeah. it's, it's not gonna. Uh, it's gonna be all red inside there, like it was. You see how red it was? Yeah. No oxygen. Cause it's choked, right? Yeah. Can't have that. Should run a lot better now. So I left two of the dampers out, and we could adjust the draft over the with the damper if we have right. to. Yeah. And we'll see how it runs. Should run better now. Now the filters, I was getting a good oil flow through the pump. Right. So the filter at the tank and this pump filter is still fine. Oh, that's good. If yeah. if I wasn't getting a good flow, well then I would yeah. then I would change the filters. Right. Yep. Got a lot of people that say that to me. Oh, how come you don't change the filters? It's like, oh, you don't need them. Yeah, if you need them, all right. But if you don't, no sense. I don't. I know what you. We're mean. getting a, if we're getting a wimpy flow. Well yep. then, yeah, you, you you're starting to get a problem. We change the filters at that point. I mean, sometimes they go four years on, and not a problem. I mean, they're like, no. Depends. The new oil now is a lot cleaner than it used to be. Uh, if I was to change this later on, because this one's blocked, right? You've got to drain all the water out of the tank to change this thing? Yeah. Uh. You've got to drain the boiler. Drain the boiler out. Yeah. They gave me a new one of that. Who did? When I, I took them pots back... You know the pots, the new things you put in there? Yeah, oh, at Home Depot? No, at, uh, that pot, the place that's called in Middle Ball. The furthest place in Middle Ball. We'll fire it up and check it again. Yeah. That's better. Not rolling out anymore. Yeah. And then we could adjust the draft up there if we have to, to yeah. get the proper draft. Before it was just choked. Yeah, I know. When you open that little door, you see it coming out. Oh. Yeah, no <laughs> actually, we need a little bit more draft than that. Why, well, just the damper? Yeah. That's a little better there. Well, that's about one over the fire, so that's what we want right there. That's better. So with two, with two of those out, it's working better. Well, actually... You got any cats? You got any cats? No. Yeah, I just needed a good cleaning. I mean, if she was choked. Well, let's live it a, give it a minute and make sure it's all right. We'll make sure it keeps running. But you said, what, four or five minutes it was shut down? Yeah. Because it wasn't breathing. It wasn't breathing and it was just getting all choked yeah. up. That's good. So you're, you're getting you're getting enough hot water now. You're not running out like you no, were before. No. I had to I had to put that that and shut like off on said, there. I, if I if it's too hot, I move this thing a little. Well, like don't you play said. with it. I got it no, already no, set. No. But you told me if it gets too hot, you just move that here. Brush and vacuum boiler, new nozzle, reset electrodes. 
Reset draft over fire. I did take two of the dampers out. We'll just leave them out. You don't need them. And uh, it's running good now. Like I just left that job. Um, I get a lot of comments about uh, I should change the filters. I should change the pump filter every time I go there. I check the oil flow. If I'm getting a good oil flow, I don't need to change the filters. That's why you see me check the oil flow. You see how that good oil flow? Well, then filters are fine. And why, why, why change them? You don't need to. Look at these little snotty ass little kids living in mama's basement. They got no clue. If that fi pump filter was dirty or that filter of the tank was dirty, I would get a real wimpy flow out of that pump. So that's a little tech tip for today. You know? That's how I that's how I do things. If you want to change the filter every time you go somewhere, do it. I mean I don't I don't. Unless it needs it. If it don't need it, I don't do it. Give them another you get another it might have been in there a year and a half. I mean the filter's probably like brand new in there. Years ago, you had to do the filters all the time because the oil was, it was uh, a lot, not as clean as it is now. Now the oil is really clean. Low sulfur, it's not as bad. Last couple of years, I've noticed it. That's why I don't change, that's why I don't change filters all the time unless they need them. But hopefully that, that answers that question. Oh my God, I changed that pump filter. It only cost $5. Well, I don't need it. No need to change it. I don't need it. I don't do it. I am not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. But anyway, you see how I took a couple of those dampers out uh, in the boiler, the, the, the baffle dampers in the boiler? And now I got, you know, okay draft over the fire. If I would have left all them dampers in there, I would have shitty draft over the fire. I usually find to take a couple of them out. And you, if, if you have to adjust it through the barometric damper, you can. You're better off doing that. That's on a steel boilers would have that. Cast iron boilers, uh, they don't have that. But that's just the steel boilers. 